How are we all doing, gang? We are on Tuesday. We have been to the gym for the first time in probably a week and a half, which is terrible, but I feel great after doing it. I, I hate not going. It makes me feel like I can't handle life's shit when I don't go. Um, I don't know if you can hear, but we have bats up there somewhere. And they're squeaking and scratching. It's really annoying. Um, but anyway, important stuff. I thought um, about something. And it's that it's always hard. Life and business, quite frankly. But business especially, you think that when you're starting out, it's really hard. When in fact, it's probably at its easiest. Probably at its most exciting. You're the most passionate, you're the most engaged, you're the most um, motivated, because it's all new, it's exciting, and everything's great. Everyone you meet potentially adds value to you, because you don't know anyone in the industry. And yet, at the time, you're looking at people ahead of you going, oh, I wish I was there. Oh, I wish I could just do that. Oh, I wish I could just do more deals. Oh, I wish I could just raise more money. And you you always feel like, oh, let me get out of this new bit. I don't want to be a new person at this stuff anymore. And it's a little bit like life. When you're at school, in your secondary school, now I fucking loved secondary school. Now, if you got bullied and you fucking hated it, then fair enough, not a great analogy. But for the most part, I think, you know, I'm watching my five-year-old go to school and he just plays with his mates for like eight hours. Um, and they learn some stuff, but they watch some telly and they do some stuff and they get mucky and paint things. And and yet to him, he's probably like, oh, go to school. This is long, annoying. I can't wait till I don't have to go to school. And I was like that in secondary school. Even though I loved school, I couldn't wait to not be at school. And then the minute you finish school, you go, oh, Life's actually pretty difficult. School was great. I just got to play around, learn some stuff, um, and enjoy life, really. And and if you look at business like that, it's the same. You're, you're starting out in a brand new business is you at school. You're learning, you're absorbing, you're with new people, you're finding things out about yourself, you're handling problems and issues and getting some successes and... It's all exciting and fun and nothing really that major can go wrong because you're new. You might have one client that you could piss off. You might have one property you can fuck up. But what you're not dealing with is hundreds and thousands and millions of pounds of other people's money. Hundreds of people reliant on you to give them the advice that's going to mean that they make money and can change their own lives. You're not dealing with partners and stakeholders in your business reliant on you doing everything fucking right. And it's crazy to think, and I'm already thinking, I can't wait to get out of this bit and be at the bit above. But I can guarantee when I get to that bit above, I'm going to look down and go, oh, I wish I just had those problems again. Because they were fucking easy to get over. That was fun. It was enjoyable. We were on a ride. And I think you just have to accept that no matter what stage you're in, in business or life, you have to just enjoy it. Don't stress about it. It's only money. You know, I was watching a good friend of mine, Matt Haycox. Now, Matt Haycox is an amazing bloke, made an insane amount of money relatively young, and then lost it all within a two-week period. And listening to him on his podcast, and I'll put a link in below, actually, he was talking to Dapper Laughs, I think, and he was describing how when it all happened, he knew that he had the contacts, the mindset, the knowledge, and the ability to make money. So when he talks about losing money, he talks about it like, yeah, like I lost a bit of money. But that's it. It's only money. You know, some of the most rich people in the world have lost money, they've gone bankrupt, and they're back again. Um, and it's amazing how much pressure and stress we feel about money. I can't lose money. And it's important not to, if you can help here, by the way. Um, but money isn't everything. People kill themselves over money. People commit suicide over money and debt. 
it's not that deep. It's just money. Money can be got back. If you've got people, contacts, knowledge, that's why they talk about education being so important because that can't be taken from you. And what you learn along this road, what you're learning right now in whatever stage you're at is what will stay with you for life. Money will come and go. You will lose cash on deals. Hopefully that is small amounts, not big amounts like I managed to do in my past, but we're still here. We're still breathing. We've still got family and friends. And that is also a really important point to make as well when you're talking about decisions that you make in business. And if they're all monetary and you start to forget about your morals and your your moral compass, when that starts to sway and you start saying yes to stuff you know isn't quite right and isn't quite aligned with you and what you've been brought up to, to, to know is valuable in life, that's when the big mistakes happen because you will lose friends and family if you start doing stupid shit because you want to make money or you want to show off on social media so you start doing stupid shit. Like some of these people on social media that have millions and millions of followers who are doing crazy shit online for money and you think nobody's got any pride anymore. Nobody, nobody, the, what people don't think about is when you sit in a room and I can, I could think of someone exactly that's in the property space. And when they go into a room of property investors, people are looking at them like, wow, you're a massive helmet and we don't want to work with you. And, and that was in pursuit of money and followers and fame and all that shit. And it, and it actually takes away from you personally, because then even if it is just a show for social media and to gain followers and, and, and promote a business, I just think, I think it's a silly way to go. And it's not, not my choice, but I don't know, quite a weird, weird part of the weekly. But um, yeah, busy day today. I'm off on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday because I'm going to Manchester to see Teddy Swims. Um, and have a couple of nights out. So that'll be good, but it puts the pressure on the first couple of days of the week. Uh, had an amazing meeting last night that you saw briefly, um, getting our partners in the right place, in the right mindset, telling them what's going to happen, the plans we have for the future. And um, yeah, it's all really exciting right now. There's a few things we're working out as we go, but that's standard. That's just normal. And um, and yeah, we're, we're constantly improving, constantly progressing. And, and it's, it's exciting. It's fucking stressful right now for me. I'm really feeling the pressure. Um, I feel the pressure. I feel time limits. Like there's low, it, again, it makes me sound ridiculous, but there's, there's trips away that have been pre-booked that I know I'm going to be not present in because I know I've got shit to do. So I'll be working while I'm on holiday and stuff like that. So I'm going to Manchester for these three days next week. My brother's taking me to Berlin to go and see one of his friends for a couple of days. So it'd be really nice to spend time with him. Haven't done that for a long, long time. The following week, we go away as a family for a week. Uh, then I get back and I go to Marbella the next day. Like, it's a madness and it's exciting. But it's also like, when the fuck am I going to do work that needs to be done? Um, but yeah, it is what it is. We take these things in our stride. We created this life, ultimately. Um, if it was that bad, I'd cancel one of the trips, but I ain't going to do it. Um, I just need to make sure that I allocate set time. And, and this is something I'm really going to get nailed down again it's my time blocking i talk about it all the time i tried it once it was fucking life-changing and then just stopped doing it because life got in the way um so i'm going to talk you through that how i'm going to set that up and and the fact it can even though your time blocking it can still be movable and that's what people don't think that it can do so i'll uh i'll walk you through my journey on that when i embark on that and i get five minutes to actually sit down and do that but um that 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 will work really well for me because otherwise people get in my diary and I don't have, seemingly have no say in that. So it's, it becomes frustrating then. Um, but anyway, see you in a bit. Oh man, what a stressful day. Um, I wonder if you can hear my mic. Woohoo! It's for our camera. I've got a new lens um, for Marbella. Because we're going to go and do some really cool property tours. But yeah, my head. I don't know if you've ever felt so stressed that your head is like, Dizzy. I feel like I'm in my dad's hat. Why does that look so weird? Um, yeah, literally in the shops and I felt like dizzy. I felt like my eyes were like this. Having to breathe because of very... I feel like I'm really like... Normally I can handle 
problems and deal with them quite simply. But people, things are piercing me off. It, we're at such a level now where it's really important stuff gets done and we've been waiting for a website to be done. Guy said it would be done in a week. Three weeks down the line, it's still not done. And they're like, oh, a couple more tweaks and we're there. And I go and look at the website. I can't explain to you how many, like the whole thing. I was literally like, this is not remotely close. So now I'm having to say, let's get a homepage done. Let's start with that. Let's have a homepage created that gives an, everybody an idea on our mission as a business, me and Kevin, why we started it, our experience, um, to give people something to land on. And then there's a website of a description, maybe a contact us page if we can get that up and running. The rest of it that takes a bit more time, that needs a bit more structure, a bit more thought process we can work on later. But at the moment we have no website and that looks terrible on us. So let's get the homepage done that doesn't look fucking awful. I mean, you've got stuff that's all centered and then loads of writing on the left-hand side. You've got a picture of me and a picture of Kevin and it, they're not centered, like real basic stuff, random fonts, um, no capital letters where they should be, capital letters where they shouldn't be, mad, just mad stuff. And then that annoys me, idiocy annoys me, a lack of, um, what's the word? Just a low bar. You know when people are just like, I think that'll do. Why? Like it's not hard to get a website to the point and and I, I yes I could do it but I'm shit at it myself and yet I can see that that's bad and I don't want to do it I've got a million things going on right now a million high level things going on things that I should be focusing need to be focusing on and now I'm getting pissed off about a fucking website that I could have built and done myself if I'd have been in charge of it and that's why I end up doing it that's why the business owners end up doing it themselves because it becomes such hard work to get really simple stuff done um but yeah I took myself off to the shop to do some food shopping to get a bit of time and that's helped um so I'm back in the game again uh, um I'm never normally like this. It's crazy. Um, especially after a good day, getting in the gym and all that jazz. Um, but yeah. So, sorted-ish. Uh, had a big long conversation with Kevin and we sort of talked through plans and structure and how how much we've got in the background and who I can get this put off to. And, um, and then I can focus on doing what I do. And I do what I do fucking well, really well. And everything else outside of it, dog shit. There's no middleman with me. I'm incredible at what I do. And anything else that comes into my mind is a distraction. And I'm bad at it. I get in other people's way as well as my own. And it that causes nightmares. Um, but yeah, I swear I gave a speech this morning about things not mattering and stuff. Anyway. Yeah, funny old game. But um, yeah, basically won't be at work for the end of the week. So I'm going to have to get some stuff done over the weekend for sure and and do some catching up. But um, I'll take you to Manchester with me anyway, of course. And um, yeah, keep plugging away, gang. It's not that bad. It's really easy to make all this money. It really is. And you just you just do a couple of things and then you're just rich, like all the guys tell you. It's such hard work. Just be ready for it. I love it, but it's hard and I'm really struggling at the moment more than ever. I don't know why I think like loads of family stuff too. It's just everything kind of feels like I'm drowning a little bit with everything. Um, but we do it with a smile on our face and we'll go to Manchester and we'll drink some drinks and we'll forget about stuff for a bit. And then I'll be better um, come the weekend. And then next week we go to Berlin and we don't have any time to work again. So yeah, madness. Busy, 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 but we get it done. Can't complain about this life, can we? Um, but we can improve these things. Every time something winds me up like this, I make sure that it doesn't do it again and that I'm not putting people in positions where they shouldn't be and asking them to do tasks that they're not comfortable with. But again, I just wish people would tell me, do you know what I mean? If you're not comfortable doing it, just tell me. Um, but yeah, it's what it is. On the plus side, we've got a new block, which I haven't told you about. The new block is 100 units, our biggest year, in Brighton. And 
the guys are selling them already. Newbie selling them in our six week challenge. So they're making money already. So there's loads of positives, um, but standard, we think about the negatives, but we're getting through it. We're getting through it and we will do, and we'll sell loads of deals. I'm hoping we sell a hundred deals in two weeks. That's my aim. How are we doing, gang? We are home. It was a long journey home. Um, feeling a little tired. It was a, an amazing few days. So um, Ali got me the trip to go and see Teddy Swim sing uh, in Manchester. So that's where we've just been. So you probably have seen a few videos of what we got up to. Went and did a load of fun stuff. Manchester's really cool, by the way. Um, yeah, we had a great time. So... I managed to get work done while I'm while I'm away. Always do. That's why your phone's there. You're able to do these things whilst out and about. Um, can be dangerous if you've had a few drinks and someone winds you up. But um, but yeah, that's that is the biggest thing. Location freedom, time freedom. It's the most addicting thing in the world. I cannot imagine having to be at somewhere at a set time and just being restricted in that way, I'd really struggle. Once once you're out of job um, and you see the light and you're like, oh shit, not going to not gonna be able to go back to that. So um, yeah, it's really important. So I've got quite a lot going on. So I've had to move my call to uh, our weekly call that we do with our six week challenges to tonight. So I'm going to do that in an hour. Um, they're going really well. We've got so many sales going through. I'm so happy. I knew that the, I had a feeling about this group um, that they'd be good, and and they're proving that too. So, um, really exciting for them. And and you know, people are talking about ten deals and stuff. It's crazy. And um, on Monday, I go to Berlin with my brother for a little couple of days with him. So again, I'm missing Monday to Wednesday. Um, and yeah, but it is good. None, none of this is stressful, but I've just got stuff I need to do. So I might, being my birthday tomorrow, have to do some work. And again, that's the downside of that freedom is that you're probably not as efficient as you could be. I know I'm not 100%. I could be, I could do so much more, but life's for living. Got to enjoy it. Got to enjoy the journey. And I, Everything's moving in the right way. So we're not we're not like losing out. We're not we're making sure that the partners are well looked after, the investors are getting what uh, the return that they they were promised and and let's just keep that moving. So um in the meantime, visit a load of countries, do a load of fun stuff and um it's really important to me that bit. So we'll be going um going to Berlin on Monday for a few days. Following week after that, I'll go on a family holiday. So I think we're going to go to Gran Canaria. It's going to get booked tonight. That'll be a week, just just me, Ali and the kids. Then a day after I land, I go to Montpellier for four days with Dean to get some filming done. So it's hectic, um, but amazing. And yeah, it's weird. Sometimes you're so you're constantly striving for better. And I think what happens is as you go up a level, that becomes your new comfort and that becomes your new normal. And when you get new normal at level after level, you're constantly looking up, 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 up. Whereas this is why I built the business to allow us, yes, money, but time, location, freedom. I, I, I made a weird promise to myself that I would never say no to a holiday. Um, so that's what happens. I just say yes to all of these things. And obviously with Marbella, it's, it's, it's more of a work one. We'll be having lots of fun there, but um, there'll be three really good interviews um, and, and project visits. And there's also a mastermind there. And yeah, these things are really powerful as well. So we'll be going, taking Liam and Dean and uh, that'll be a really good break and we'll get some meaningful work done too. So all fun and games.